Okay, this is Mike with Edge on Up, and uh, thank you for tuning into this uh, video presentation concerning the PT50C. The PT50C is our recommendation for the home kitchen. It has 25 grams of resolution, and that's all you need for home kitchen use. So, um, I'm going to not try to convince you of why you need this instrument. I'm going to assume that because you're watching this video that you already know why you need this instrument. So just as if I were selling tape measures and you are going to do a DIY project uh, in let's say building a room onto your home I'm not going to try to convince you why you need a tape measure. I'm going to assume that you already know why. And what I'm also going to assume is, is that the reason you're watching this video is, is you want to know, one, if this works, and two, how this works. So, very briefly here, let's do this. Um, let's just go through an explanation of the product. It has a very simple... Um, three button operation. Here is the on off. This is the backlight control and if I run this number up just a little bit here and I hit this tear button it zeroes the unit out. Now I think it's probably obvious to you that I'm working upside down here but uh, I guess I should point that out. So um, in addition to that we have taken um, some genuine steps towards making this as simple as possible for the home user. And that step in particular is not only our very simple operation that I just demonstrated to you, but also this right here. This is what we call the disposable test clip. And this is the test clip holder base. And um, it just doesn't get any simpler than this in, in terms of operation, and I'll, I'll show you how that is here in just a second. So the clip simply slides into here, into the base. The base sits here in the center. Um, it is aligned with our removable magnetic base knife fulcrum piece. And you can see I have the slot here lined up with the uh, gap in the test media clip. And so I think uh, what we'll do now is, um, because that's about as much as you need to know about operation of the unit, is um, let's sort of get to the fun part of this uh, uh, video tutorial and let's measure some knives. So let me do this. I'll turn the unit off. And let me set it aside here. And then I will reach over here and I'll get some knives and we'll do some measurements. Okay, so let's pull our knives into the frame here. We have this one and this one and I selected these two because they are very different in both form and in price. Um, this is a $55 name brand knife this is a $5 no-name brand knife. Uh, $5 as in brand new. Um, this knife measured 375 400 uh, when it was brand new. This knife probably measured 325 I would say. Um, so I have sharpened both these knives and as you can tell they're not anywhere close to being new knives. Uh, in other words they've been sharpened, dulled, sharpened, dulled many times. Um, but anyhow, as I said, I have recently sharpened them. I um, wrote the, and then measured them, I wrote that measurement level down on the back side of the handle here. So I guess the game we're going to play here is, is for you to guess which one is sharpest. Um, but I'm not going to have you speculate long because we don't need to speculate because we have a PT50C which will actually measure the sharpness level of these knives. So anyhow, we already have a test clip in place here. 
So all we have to do is turn the unit on. I'll turn the backlight on so that you can see the measurement and we're ready to measure. So here's our cheapy knife and like I said it was 375 or 400. I'll guarantee it's sharper now. Let's see how much. 200. Okay. So somewhere around twice as sharp as it was brand new. So let's find out where we stand on our other knife. And this is all it takes to do that. We have a new clip in place. We tear the unit out. We're ready to take another measurement. So here we go. Two hundred. Well, isn't that interesting? Fifty-five dollar knife and the five dollar knife both have the same sharpness level. So let's get this out of the way, temporarily at least, and let's see what I wrote on the back of these handles here. It says TS, and what that sounds stands for is the same. So in other words, I knew already that both these knives were the same sharpness level. Now, in fairness, knife edges are not consistent. They're not nearly as consistent as edge-on-up instrumentation is. It is very possible that had I measured in a di slightly different place on the edge, I might have gotten 225. I did sharpen these edges with a more of a polished edge so that I would get, uh, knowing I was shooting this video, so that I would get a more consistent answer. But like I said, in fairness, there could be some variation, not because of the instrumentation, but because of the edge. In other words, these edges are not going to be the same sharpness from one end of the blade to the other. So anyhow, uh, they're not, and that all is dependent upon how good a job you do a sharpener grinding the edge and then deburring it. So anyhow, but I say this much, uh, let's get these out of the way again. I say that's not much fun because we got the same answer on both of them. So I'd like to see a sharp one and a dull one. I don't know about you. Well, let's do that. Matter of fact, let's do this. Uh, and by the way, they're both sharp. But uh, uh, let's see what this instrument can do here. So we got a new test clip in. Let's, uh, well, let's not turn it on yet. So let's take this same knife that measured 200. And let's just do this little trick. So let's see how our instrument works here. And here's all I'm going to do. This is a ceramic sharpening rod. So uh, it is an abrasive rod. So if we're going to dull an edge, it's a good way to do it. But here's all I'm going to do. I'm going to start right here and basically just lay this on this edge. And then I'm just going to go like this with barely any pressure at all. Now, let's see what that did to our edge sharpness. In other words, we were 200. Let's see what we are now. Four seventy-five. Now, isn't that amazing? Uh, and if I were to do that again, it would go up another couple three hundred points. So there's the demonstration of uh, what a PT50C will do data-wise for your sharpening efforts. Um, so let's do this though. Let's go the other direction. How about something very sharp? Now. This, in fact, is something that I know, that you know, is sharp. So let's tear this out and let's get this out. And what is this going to be? This is going to be a double-edged razor blade. And I'm going to make a prediction right now that the sharpness level of this razor blade will certainly not be 475, it won't be 200, what it will be is 50. So I'll just hold this by hand and we'll measure this razor blade. 
and there you have it, 50. Uh, I don't know whether you could hear that break or not, um, but you can see clearly the test media has been severed. So anyhow, um, why don't we do this? Um, let me uh, turn the camera off for just a second. I'll go get a drink of water and I'll come back and I'll just give you a few quick closing comments. Okay, I'm hydrated and I left the video um, with the promise that we were going to wrap this tutorial up and so I'm going to do that in very short order here. And I'm going to do that by uh, going back to my analogy earlier in the video about the tape measure and the PT50C. Um, and that analogy is correct in many respects, but it's, but, it's, but it's not applicable in one way. And this is probably the most important thing. And that is, if you're doing your DIY building project and you have an 8-foot 2 before on the job and you've got a 10-foot 2 before on the job, you simply only have to look at those two to deduce which one's the 8-footer and which one's the 10-footer. In the case of this knife, we have a knife that began at 200 and ended at 475, so um, twice, more than twice as dull as it began, but from appearance's sake, it looks exactly the same. Um, so we simply don't have the luxury with knives to be able to look at them and tell how sharp they are. We can't run our thumb across them either because that's a poor gauge as well. Uh, if there's a burr there, that burr is going to manifest itself as to our brains anyhow as being a sharp edge and it simply is not. So I will just say this much, um, at, at this time if you don't own one of these instruments you're just flying blind. Uh, you have no idea, uh, first of all, whether an edge is sharp or not sharp, and you certainly do not know at what sharpness level it is. So I would encourage you very much um, to purchase one of these instruments. You will be simply amazed at what it will do for both your knives and your sharpening skills. And, um, and I'll just leave it with that. And thank you very much for watching this video.